Hi, and welcome to another Strappy Recipes video where we bring you tips and tricks to help you on your Strappy journey to show you all the tools, all the best practices that you have available to allow you to continue to build cool things. In today's video, we're going to explore the Strappy CLI. We are going to show some of the most common commands that you should be aware of. So let's take a look at the documentation to see what we have available for us. So I'll make sure to link in the description below so you could see all the different commands here. And there is a lot. And today I'm gonna to show you one simple tip that if you don't wanna read through the whole documentation, you could in your terminal, just make sure that we stop our strappy project, you could type yarn strappy help, and you will get a list of a lot of useful commands. For instance, you're able to do yarn version to get the version of your project, yarn strappy version, and boom, you're able to see the version of the project that I'm on. And you have a lot of useful commands. And one of the biggest things that I run into is sometimes I'm locally developing on my project and I forget my password. So without nuking your database, how do you replace your password? Well, you have a command for that. You could use admin reset user password. Now, before we take a look here, when you see at my local Strapi instance, a lot of times when you're developing locally and you do forgot password, you might not have set up your email yet. So this feature is not gonna work if you're not connected to an email provider to send you that reset password email. So instead, when you're trying to log in, and you forgot your admin or you want to reset someone's password and you're logging in and it's just not working for you. I got to make sure that the app is running in order to log in. So let me do that. Yarn develop, right? And you're trying to log in and you get invalid credentials. So now we know that we could use Strapi CLI to the rescue to help us out. So I'm going to do yarn Strapi boom admin reset user password it'll walk you through the steps make sure you provide the email of the user's password that you want to reset at strappy.io and a quick tip here when you are creating a new password it needs to be longer than eight characters should have one capital one number and one special character so i'm going to do bond key one two three four because that's the safest password you could possibly pick and do you really want to reset this user's password the answer is yes so let's go ahead and do it let's start our project again and before when i was not able to log in i am able to go ahead and type in my password which is my new password monkey1234 and to make sure that i type the right password let me take a look here that's correct log in and boom we're in business so back in our cli let in our terminal let's kill the command let's do clear let's do yarn strappy help another useful command that you have here is our strappy generate command and again, you could always reference the documentation, but you're able to run yarn strappy generate and it will give you some of the options that you have available. For instance, you could create controllers, content types, plugins, and I challenge you to play around and try to use the CLI to create some of the things. You could create middlewares, policies, services. So let's say I want to create a middleware. I'm going to call it test. Sounds good. And then where do you want to add it? Do you want to add it in the existing API to a plugin? I'm going to do it in the root of the project. Then boom, it created my test middleware inside middlewares folder. So if I open my project and code, I'm able to see boom middlewares. Here's a test. And then now you could write your logic here. And I like how this just scaffolds this for you as well. And you could do the same thing with controllers, policies, and so on so that is pretty awesome by the way if you haven't jumped on the strappy cloud wing list go ahead to strappy.io slash cloud or hit the link in the description below and go sign up and if you're watching this video in the future and this screen does not exist that's probably because we released strappy cloud which i'm really really excited for because it will give anybody nice and fast way to be able to deploy your application to the cloud without having to worry about doing those things yourself. So if you don't have time setting up servers and doing DevOps stuff, you just wanna have a project that just works, Strapi Cloud is for you. 
Let's see what other commands we have available to us. So I'm going to do yarn strappy help. And here we could see that we have lots of different commands, but really useful if you want to quickly look up the routes or middlewares that you have available, controllers and so on, you could run this command. So let's take a look. We want to see all the different routes that are available. So I'm going to do yarn strappy routes list. Make sure you type things correctly and boom, we have our list of all the routes that you could have. And it includes all the routes of the application, which is pretty awesome. So you could see all the API level routes and so on, which is kind of cool. Let's see what else we can do. Yarn strappy help. We have our content type list, which will show you all the different content types. So really helpful tool for us to use as we're working in Strapi. And if you wanna see more useful videos and tips, let me know in the comments below. I will make another video because I know this video is getting longer to cover Strapi console. If you want to do a quick preview, you could run yarn Strapi console and it will start Strapi in an interactive console mode. If you wanna see all of the functions of our core API in Strapi, and that's a lot, and I don't even know what all those things do, you could run Strapi and it will show you all the things and you could continue to explore this. And we will make a video in the future uh, exploring this in a little bit more detail, like for instance, what some of these things are and what's cool, this is a great way to kind of look at the core of the API and you might find something that you never, never seen. Like for instance, what is uh, request context? How does it work? And you could go ahead and look it up in the Strapi code base and kind of look through the code and explore things. And in the future, we're going to make more videos exploring some of these topics here as well. So thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next Strapi's recipes.